Hey Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your reading. I will wait for divine timing to unite us. You help me raise my self-worth. You have taught me to get over my inner issues. Does that don't matter? Uh, I love the way they nurture me. They have a lot to tell you. What do you think of me right now? You have made me closer to my spirit and for this I'm eternally grateful to you. How do I move forward? This person clearly can't move on. They don't know how to move on from you or how to move towards this connection. Take it how it resonates out here. But I was holding too tight and it was too painful. Okay, so I feel this person here was trying their best to hold on to the connection here. Even if it was, you know, the connection needed some kind of transformation. Okay, and they were holding on too tight and it was just getting too much. Which is why, the, which is the reason why they let go. Right now, I do feel you guys are in separation for a lot of you. All right, and this person here is going to wait for the right time and they're going to wait for divine timing. Okay. No matter how long it takes, they're going to wait, okay, for you guys to get back. All right. <clears throat> Let's jump into your spread. Okay. Now, honestly, I do feel that this is you and this is them. You can take it how it resonates. I'm going to read it like that. Now, I do feel here that uh, for a lot of you, Scorpios, the person that you're dealing with, this person clearly wants to come back. Okay, the problem here is that even if they want to come back, they want to reveal some truth out here. They want to tell you what the truth is. They want to know why they went away. They want to know, they want to tell you why they were the runner. And this person clearly knows they are the runner out here. They know they ran away from the connection. They ghosted you, all right? They would have been some cheating, deception, lies. You could have had severe trust issues with this person, okay? But they ran away because uh, this person felt like there was a lack of support either from their family or this person did not feel supported enough. Okay, but I'm getting a high, strong sense of lack of confidence. Okay, lack of confidence out here. And even if they want to come back, they have this overinflated ego right now. You, on the other hand, here you completely block this person out. All right, there is no communication from your side. You're on guard. Okay, your guards are up, and you are so determined not to let this person back into your life. Why? Because you want to avoid a disaster. They're going to break up out here. Okay, and something stopped working out because it was unstable. And now you're like, no, I've given you a hundred million chances and you still don't seem to get the points. And now you stay where you are and I'm good where I am. Let's see. What does this person feel for Scorpio? What does this person feel for Scorpio? Okay. What does Scorpio feel for this person that they're dealing with? Wow. You still love this person, don't you? There's still a strong sense of love out here. You feel a very strong sen sense of connection with this person out here, okay? But for this person out here, they feel it's all over and done with. Uh, they feel you're okay on your own. You're okay being single, all right? They feel you're very focused on learning how to be independent, learning how to be okay on your own out here, focusing on your financial success, etc. out here. Whilst you, other the hand here, you do feel a lot of love for this person. You want to take a leap of faith towards this person out here, okay? We're going to clarify later. Let's see. Um, what action? What, what, um, no, sorry. What does this person want from Scorpio? What does this person want from Scorpio? What does this person want from Scorpio? Okay. Still a lack of commitment out here. They're still in and out, in and out, in and out of your life out here. Uh, they want to rush in for sure, okay? But there's still a lack of stability and security. They're still not being able to offer you what you want from them. What does Scorpio want from this person? Right now, there is no action. You're waiting for this person to make a move towards you. But if there's no action from this person's side, you're going to let things be the way it is. There is no movement from your side whatsoever, okay? Even if you have a lot of love for this person, you're like, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to move till you don't move because you're the one who's got to make the move out here. So Scorpio is just going to wait around, all right? And um, it's got to be up to this person out here, okay, to make a move out here. But I think as long as I know this person here thinks that things are over between you both here. They are feeling guilty. They want to come back. But it's that energy where, you know what, I feel things are over and I don't think you're going to take me back ever. 
Okay, let's clarify. <coughs> clarify the seven of swords in reverse. out here is coming back with the same toxic trait okay they're coming back with the same toxicity here they're still not wanting to risk it okay they still want to take that there's so much of love that this person has for you the problem here is that this person hasn't healed okay they haven't healed from the breakup between you both or this person does not love themselves enough okay so there's a lack of self-love first of all from their side which is stopping them from loving you okay to the to the optimum level they're not even taking a risk out here. They, they're in two minds out here. Very reckless person, very impulsive person. So even when they're wanting to come back, right, they want to come in quickly, okay, like without thinking. So this person out here is not taking calculated risks towards you, okay, which is one of their biggest toxic traits out here, okay. They're very impulsive. They're too quick to come in, okay, which is why we see like, you know, they're very in and out, on and off of your life, okay. So they're not thinking. They are feeling guilty, but they don't know what to do. So it's like, you know, I don't know what to do. I waited enough and I'm just going to go in. And go in and offer what to scope you? Nada. Nothing. I don't have anything to offer, but I want a new beginning with you. Okay. Um, Clive with the seven of wands. There is an opportunity here of having a new beginning, okay, with you. They can. But the risk factor, they think, is too high. And they're not thinking. What's the seven of wands? Like I said, you are okay on your own, guys. You're okay on your own. You're very focused on learning to be independent, focusing on your financial success. You're okay. You're being single, you know, and uh, probably even getting a lot of attraction out here. But right now, you're just trying to work things out on your own. It's like, I don't need this person anymore. And there's definitely been a painful ending out here, okay, which is very hard for you to accept, but you're still going through it. And I feel for a lot of you, there's a huge realization from your side where you feel that, you know what, entertaining this person or getting this person back into your life is going to be a disaster, which is why you're trying to avoid a disaster out here, all right? And this person out here does not realize how much damage they have already done to the relationship. So it's like that's still irresponsible move towards you. Fly for the death. See, this person clearly knows that there's been an ending out here. They know that you're not going to give a second chance to this person out here. They know that they are denying the truth, okay? They know what the truth is. And they are in complete denial of the connection. Complete denial of the truth out here. This person needs to have a lot of realizations out here, okay? Which they're not doing. They know they need to take pick a new direction if they want to start something new with you that they're not doing. Because there is this... It's like, I have an idea of how I can start things back with Scorpio. I want to communicate with Scorpio, but I don't know which is the correct way, okay? They don't have a correct approach towards you, okay? So it's like that lack of spark, that lack of motivation is missing here, all right? Which is why there is no clarity, okay? But yeah, the reason why they think, think things have ended out here is because also because of no communication. They know there's no communication. And there's no communication because there's no realization of this person's completely ignoring the inner calling out here. They know they need to make a move. They know that they are the only ones who can make or break the situation out here. But clearly, not making a move is making a choice. Clear for the Two of Cups. So you are probably, um, now for a lot of you Scorpios, I do feel you're kind of moving towards new love. There could be a new partnership that has been offered to you and that will be offered to you. Take it how it resonates. If not, you're absolutely focused on self-love. Even though you know that this is what you want, you want this relationship. But you know, it's like that understanding. It's like that deeper uh, realization that you, I am worth a lot. And even though I feel a strong connection to this person out here, even though this is a strong soulmate connection out here, I'm still going to choose to walk away because this is not emotionally fulfilling me. There is no growth emotionally out here. There's no expansion emotionally out here. And also this person here refuses or has stopped putting in the teamwork. So there's either a lack of collaboration out here from before or this person here stopped the teamwork with you. They stopped putting in the effort out here. Okay, so yeah, you could be juggling two people out here or you could just be in two minds. Okay, but now you want to bring balance to your life. 
and bringing balance to your life means asking this person to screw you know just go to hell <coughs> sorry i'm very bad too love for the king of pentacles in reverse still still the same thing now the reason here one of the one of the reasons i feel that first of all this person is either non committal a or this person is already married to someone else b either or all right or you could already be married to this person and this person does not want to get into that marriage right now they just want to stay and you, you they want to stay in their own lane now like i said this person out here knows they need to give you this offer they want to give you this offer but the ending that has been for 10 of swords 10 of swords so there has been this painful ending out here which is stopping them okay actually more than anything not stopping them it is they are sabotaging the connection there's a power struggle out here you want something they want something you want something completely different they want completely different okay so it's like this power struggle out here you guys are not on the same page so again this person here is holding back the offer it's killing them i'm getting depression out here it's killing this person okay they're going through a lot of sadness and depression out here but this person out here is not being able to look at the positive that things can still be salvaged only if they choose to make the offer towards you or take action towards you but that's something that they're not doing because for them it's like i think it's over and done with i don't think scorpio is ever going to take me back okay which is why the sabotage they're they they're, they're pulling back on purpose okay they want a new beginning with you they see you as their happiness okay but they won't make a move clear for the hangman <clears throat> yeah see you want a commitment with this person all right you want long term you want stability security with this person out here the problem here is that you are going to wait either for this person to make a decision okay there's a lot of uncertainty around this connection here lack of clarity lack of communication okay uh, you don't know what's going on you don't know what's going to happen you don't even know if you guys will get back together if you get back together is it going to work out are we is it just going to be the same cycle out here so so much of fogginess around the situation here okay so what you want is movement forward so it's like either i release this person and move forward because there's no action or then this person takes action towards you and at least you have clarity about what are we doing are we reconciling are we going to stay friends are we just going to go on our ways okay so i feel the ending between you both has it, it's been very abrupt it's been very vague okay which is why you have no clarity out here but this person knows that they are the runner they know that they clearly run away okay so they have the clarity out here you don't okay that's what's happening here <clears throat> because the love is still there from your side all right it's still there from your side out here it's just that you want to know is it this way or that way are we in or out okay because you still want this with them okay something is unfinished between you both both of you all want marriage commitment with each other you all both want long term with each other out here both of you all have a lot of love for each other scorpio you think this person doesn't love you or you think this person is a cheater liar this person thinks that you're okay on your own out here a huge fucking misunderstanding only because there is no action being taken out here look look at what you both want there is unfinished business out here you both know that something wasn't ended correctly or uh you know things still had to move forward and things just uh ended abruptly like i just said that right yeah someone's losing hope out here you guys are not healing yet scorpio it could be you it could be a person both of you take it how it resonates both of you are healing right now you know babe what i'm hearing is that the universe is telling you wait wait this is not the right time you both are not in the correct uh state of mind to get back together this person out here they are still not going to commit if even if they come back you want them to come back you want them to take action they are still not ready for this you on the other hand here you are also in two minds okay you are also not being able to choose yourself here you are still waiting for this person out here okay to take some move towards you which means that you are not confident in yourself both of you all need to learn some lessons which is why the world in reverse is here a lot of lessons are still unlearned okay you still need to go back your chapters in this connection and learn a lot of lessons before you guys can come back together in union <clears throat> the star in reverse please clap for the star in reverse as the outcome okay 
So I feel that eventually this person is going to reach out to you. Congratulations. They're going to reach out to you, this person. But the problem here is that this, okay, guys, hear me out. They will reach out to you, okay? I feel they will. They want to apologize. There is an apology coming in for you both, uh, for you guys. They want to invest into this connection. They want to. They want to give you, okay, more than what they gave you in the past out here. The problem here is that you have trust issues. You don't trust this person, which is why there could be uh, an issue. I don't see a fight out here, but I do feel that they're coming back. They will reach out. They will apologize. You don't trust them, Scorpio. So that's going to be up to you. I understand this person could be pretty sneaky in the past. They ran away. They came back. They ran away. They came back. This could have been done a multiple times out here. But it's up to you, Scorpio. And as long as I can say, they're apologetic about it and they want to balance this out. They want to invest into this. They do have a tendency of taking advantage of the situation here. So what you do is you learn your lessons. You don't give in completely. You don't give in too much. You don't give from an empty well. You choose to love yourself first. And one thing very important that I read on Instagram that is, don't invest into people that you like. Invest into people that invest into you. Very important. This person here is investing into you. Okay. So this is, I mean, it's a general reading, guys, but the reason there's a lack of hope out here when this person comes back is because you feel that they're just going to do the same shit. But I see investment out here. It's going to be up to you guys. All right. So I hope this reading resonates. Do leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.